Hello everyone, welcome to Bit of Anatomy. In this tutorial, we will see the histological features of the blood vessels. Blood vessels are broadly classified into arteries and also the veins. So those vessels which carry blood away from the heart, they are called as artery. So most of the blood vessels or most of the arteries, they carry the oxygenated blood except the pulmonary artery and also the umbilical artery. Whereas veins are those vessels which carry the blood towards the heart. So most of the veins they carry the deoxygenated blood except the pulmonary veins and also the umbilical veins. So if you see the functional classification of the blood vessels, so they are classified into conducting vessels. So these are the vessels which conducts the blood from the heart to the next group of the arteries. So examples for conducting vessels include the iota and also the pulmonary trunk. So next vessels they are called as distributing vessels. So these are the vessels which distributes the blood to various part or various organs of the body. Examples include the radial artery or the gastric artery. So next group of vessels is called as resistance vessels. So they are called as resistance vessels because they provide resistance to the flow of the blood and these are the vessels which determine the blood pressure. So examples for resistance vessels are the arterioles. So next to the arterioles there are exchange vessels where exchange of nutritive substances, exchange of waste material and exchange of gaseous substances will occur. So examples include the capillaries and also the venules. So the last group of vessels is the capacitance vessels which store a large, large amount of blood. Some of the larger veins are examples for this capacitance vessel. So this is the functional classification, the conducting vessels, the distributing vessels, the resistance vessels, exchange vessels and capacitance vessels. So if you see the structural classification, so that is the histological classification, the blood vessels are classified into elastic artery, the muscular artery, the small sized vein and also the larger veins. So in between the muscular artery and the small veins, there will be arterioles, the capillaries, the sinusoids and the venules. So whether it is say muscular artery or elastic artery or any of the vein, the layers of the blood vessels, they are common for all these. So at the outside in the inner aspect, there is a thin lining epithelium made up of simple squamous epithelium, so which is called as endothelium layer. So outside the endothelium, there will be small amount of connective tissue known as subendothelial connective tissue. Outside this subendothelial connective tissue, there will be a layer of the elastic fibers which forms internal elastic lamina. So the, all these three layers, the endothelium, the subendothelial connective tissue and the internal elastic lamina, they constitute the tunica intima or tunica interna layer. So outside this there will be external elastic lamina and between the internal and elas external elastic lamina this part it contains either the smooth muscle or the elastic fibers or combination of the both. So this middle layer it is called as tunica media. Outside the tunica media there will be again a layer of connective tissue which contains some blood vessels. So this layer is called as tunica adventitia or tunica externa and the blood vessels in this layer they are called as the vasa vasorum. So these are the basic three layers the tunica intima containing the endothelium, subendothelial connective tissue and the internal elastic lamina, tunica media which contains either the elastic fibers or smooth muscles or a combination of the both and tunica adventitia which contains the connective tissue and also the blood vessels called as vasa vasorum. So now we will see the specific features that are present in the elastic artery. So it contains the endothelial layer, the subendothelial connective tissue, the internal elastic lamina is not very prominently appreciated here because the entire tunica media contains multiple layers of the elastic fibers. In between the elastic fibers, there will be small amount of smooth muscle fibers and these smooth muscle cells, they actually produce the elastic fibers in this region. And outside this, there will be tunica adventitia with connective tissue and 
vasa vasorum so if you see the functional aspects the endothelium it allows the passage of the substances whether it is gaseous substances or nutritive substances the elastic fibers in the tunica media layer they help to maintain continuous flow of blood during diastolic phase so what happens here means so whenever the heart contracts during systole or during ventricular systole the blood enters into the larger arteries or the elastic arteries like the iota and pulmonary trunk so due so these elastic fibers they help in expansion of the iota or the pulmonary trunk so during diastolic phase these expanded elastic fibers of the iota they will retract and they will contract and they will push the blood forward so that maintaining continuous flow of blood in the systole and in the diastolic phase so the tunica media is the thickest layer in the elastic artery which contains numerous elastic fibers and few smooth muscles so this vasa vasorum that is present in the tunica adventitia they supply why it is called vasa vasorum means it is a blood vessel which supplies the blood vessel it supplies the tunica adventitia layer and it also supplies the outer layers of the tunica media whereas inner layers of the tunica media and tunica intima they are supplied by the blood that is present within the lumen of the elastic artery so as i said already the examples include aorta and pulmonary trunk so next if we see the features of the muscular artery or also called as medium sized artery so the muscular artery contains regular endothelium the subendothelial connective tissue the internal elastic lamina is quite prominent here so why it is called muscular artery means in the tunica media layer we see a large amount of smooth muscle cells so with few elastic fibers in between so that's why it is called as muscular artery so even the external elastic lamina is quite prominent here and it contains regular tunica adventitia with connective tissue and vasa vasorum so tunica intima the media which is the thickest layer and the adventitia which is the thin layer so it contains elastic lamina is prominent smooth muscles are more in the tunica media and elastic fibers can be appreciated so what is the function of this uh, smooth muscle in this region means it regulates the amount of blood flow to a particular region suppose when we are walking the blood vessels that are present in the skeletal muscles of the lower limbs they need more amount of blood at that time these blood vessels uh, sorry the muscles mus muscles that are present in the arteries of the lower limb they will relax they will dilate the artery and that helps in more amount of blood flow to the skeletal muscle suppose when we are having food when the food enters into the stomach the gastric vessels will dilate and supply more blood to the stomach so when there is no need for extra amount of blood or extra amount of nutrition those smooth muscles will constrict they will they will contract and they will constrict the lumen and decreases the amount of the blood flow so examples include the radial artery the gastric artery the ulnar artery so next if we see the features of the larger vein like the inferior vena cava or the superior vena cava it contains an endothelium subendothelial connective tissue which is very minimal it contains very few layers of muscle cells in the tunica media layer in most of the veins the differentiation between the intima and media is not uh, very prominent because the internal elastic lamina is not a prominent layer here so in the larger vein or in any vein the tunica adventitia is the thickest layer the speciality of the larger vein is in the tunica adventitia layer there will be numerous longitudinally running bundles of the smooth muscle so in addition to that there will be tunica sorry the vasa vasorum and the regular connective tissue so the speciality is presence of longitudinally arranged smooth muscle bundles in the tunica adventitia layer so it contains tunica intima a smaller tunica media a thickest tunica adventitia layer which contains longitudinally arranged smooth muscles so examples includes the vena cava so what is the function of this longitudinally arranged smooth muscles means they will contract and they will especially in the inferior vena cava it will help in conduction of blood towards the heart against the gravity so these are the basic features of 
histology of the blood vessels so i will make a separate video describing the features of the arterioles capillaries and the venules do subscribe for future updates thank you